so hey guys so in the last react video i have uh, i mean explained about some concepts like props even props and states and components elements and all so there in the last part i have uh, mentioned something about u state so in that uh, video i have not explained about the hooks and all so in this video i will be touching some some concepts on hooks and u state as well so as we know that react is i mean react is a ui library and react you can you are not in control of the react right so react will control you so to update something i mean for example if you are updating this is a normal counter application and that i have mentioned just now and here you can see i have used in the u state and i will just explaining this thing i will be explaining going through this and these are just the normal normal i mean the handle add and the subtract for the subtract i've just created a function and on the on click it will just i mean then this event will be click, getting clicked so yeah so coming to my uh, this thing so what happens is for to deal with the states state or to update some state in the react app you have hooks so there are many types of hooks so every hooks has its own functionality and i mean own key points and own advantages so today i'll be explaining i mean going through the u state as well i mean u state basically so what u state is it is just a hook so what are hooks basically if i am if i talk about hook, what are hooks these are just apis hooks are Hooks are APIs provided by by React. So in React we have hooks. So what normally I mean hooks means I mean not the React hook. I mean if you are taking about the phishing hooks. So what it gives is you will be getting the uh, direct uh, direct access to the fish, right? So here as well. So by the help of hooks, you will be getting the logic of the React that they have made. So we don't need to go, I mean, how the backend works, but we just have to learn how to use these hooks, right? So what use what hooks are? It is basically an a API, and and what it re returns is a state, the initial state, and the updater function. So here the initial state is count and my updater function is update. Count. The name might be different. I mean, you can, you can, it can be set count. This, this can be count, this, this can be set count. So name is completely up to you. And what you state takes is the default, default value. So you state the default value. So default value can be anything. Default can be, default value can be a string default value can be an empty array and default value can be empty object and default value can be some integer as well so here in in the, the in this case i have used and default value i have seen some default value as a function as well so default value can be anything so default value in this in this case i have just passed the default value as zero okay so so you can see that okay so it is taking the zero and as the count value so my initial count value is zero and the updater oh, whenever i am clicking i'm i mean i'm uh, clicking on the handle and or handle sub so what it will do it will just update the count value right so this is the normal thing that uh, i've just explained about the hooks and the use state so let's go to how the real thing works okay so what happens is so in the this is the main main ui that you can see so this is the deposit in case of just add i have just in that case in the add uh, in just place of add i have just there here it is just deposit and the withdraw okay and the sub handle sub function so this is my event handler as you, you, you can see here as well like the event handler so these are known as the event handler and inside the event handler what i have is the updater function with the value needs to be updated by what 
I mean, for example, here it is 100. It might be 10. So whatever you need. So it completely depends upon you. So if you see here, there is the event handle and there is the set state. There is the 100 that I have set. So set state is also known as the dispatcher function. So usually what happens is in the Amazon or Flipkart, you have seen that there you, you will be seeing that, yeah, uh, your order has been dispatched. So what does it mean is that it is out for the delivery and it might, uh, you, you can expect the order at any time, right? So dispatcher is just a box kind of box. You can say it will be just carrying the, the updated, I mean, the value and by how much it, it should be updated. So it will travel all alone here. So this is the React machine. You, you can say it is the brain of the React, you can say the, I mean the machine. And this you can say just a, I mean, a human or something. It's just thinking about it. So yeah. So here in the set 100, so you can see that, yeah, okay, this, this is the, 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 I mean, this is the value. This is the value, and by how much the value should get updated. So here, in this case, I have just one one task to be take place. There might be many many tasks as well. There might be one, two, three, or many things. I mean, many tasks as well. So this is basically a event loop. This just acts like a queue, which you can say. And in the queue, the events get get. Uh, get on a line that yeah this needs to be updated so here the react will be think a, will be taking taking the updates one by one and it will be it will i mean after that i will just explain so what happens is this set state it just acts like a queue and what it does it will just think about it okay so react what a, uh, so basically it actually acts like a batch update as so what are batch updates? So for example, take an example that uh, you need to uh, deliver something. Okay. So what usually the Flipkart uh, guy does is he will take uh, hundreds of things in his bag and and he will just, uh, I mean, uh, just deliver the required, required uh, packages into their respective addresses, right? So what if he starts, like he will just take one order from the office and then deliver that and then again come to the office and again take another package so it will be like expensive isn't it so yeah so updating something every time re-rendering something every time it is expensive so what react does is it actually batches the update in the form of queue and it will just in in one time it will, it will be just milliseconds or something so it will check the event queue. So if I have the have some updates on, and until that time, my events will be placed here. That whatever the events need to get updated, it will be placed placed here. And one by one, the by the help of batch, I mean one batch, it will just update then that thing. So it will think about it. Okay, so this value needs to get updated by what thing? So in this second slide, yes, you can see in the second slide. So for example, yeah, in the in the second slide, so this is the old state. So in this thing, what can be the old state here? Is it zero? It is zero, right? My old state is zero, but my updated state, what my updated state should be? Updated state should be 100. So this, ba this batch, this uh, state has the 100 to its inside it. And this has the zero inside it. And technically it does it tri triple equal to. And for example, if it doesn't matches, so what it does is it will just update, update the value from the old value to the new value. And what, what it will do, it will just send the, this new state like this, all the way like this. And it will just update the UI, which will be shown in the next slide. Like this so as you, you, you can see my old state got updated now and my new state is here and it will get get updated like this and in my ui my current my previously my my current value was zero right but after this uh, this update it will be 100 so this is the whole flow how it is working 
you can say so now as you can see in the example let me erase this case yeah so as you as you can see that i have just uh, i mean inside the function i have just applied an alert alert count so as soon as i click on the add you can see my add wait a second. yeah so as you, you can see it is just show, showing me the initial count value right so my initial count value is zero so wait a second it's just disturbing me. yeah so you, you can see the initial value is zero so as soon as i Mm, okay, I mean, click on the okay, my UI will get updated. So you can finally uh, find that where is my queue? I mean, how it is working, right? So now again, if I add this, so it will just show me the previous output, I mean, the previous value. Now it is in queue. So basically, my 100 is, is in my event loop. And now it, it is not actually event loop. I mean, it is like a React react queue you can say it's just a react queue so in place of 100 now my previous value is 100 so as soon as i click on the okay my ui will get updated so why we need hooks why so what is the need i i, I can just simply do count equal to count minus 100 and just you can see that in the in the handle sub i have i have not applied the hooks here i've just simply consoled it so in the reduce, you, you can again see that, okay, this is my, my, my previous value. So as soon as I click on uh, that, okay, it will give me 100. So again, if I reduce, it will again get, get to zero, right? But my DOM is not updating, isn't it? Because I have, I have applied count here. My DOM should get updated, right? But here, for updating the thing, we have to apply the hooks. And some of the hooks, uh, there are many hooks. I'll be making video in my future, in the future videos I'll be discussing. But for now, we have learned about the use state. You, you can also go through the documentations as well. In the documentation, you, you can find the use state hook and you, you can read everything that, how the things are working. <clears throat> so yeah, I think uh, that was it. Uh, yeah, I have gave you the basic idea of how the things are working. So you can say that these hooks, I mean, they kind of behave behave in an async manner, right? So in the if you have learned about the JavaScript in a deeper deep, so you, you will be knowing how the async behavior of the JavaScript. So it is a synchronous, I mean, uh, where I mean language. But uh, you can you can uh, I mean interpret the the async banner as well the async behavior of the JavaScript right so yeah that's uh, that's all on my side okay thank you.